just wanted to say we're on our way to the Sabertala Mall right now. And uh, if I ever have said in the past that you can't find things here, I was wrong. You can find everything here. So if you ever need anything, especially like furniture or like random, like, like a toaster oven or something like that, go to the fucking Sabertala Mall. They have everything. <laughs> So we went to the art market yesterday and uh, we bought a few things How yesterday and today we're coming back because Dylan really likes one of these art pieces and he wants to get it. The market has a bunch of uh, antique stuff all over the place and it has a whole section full of art. And in general I want to vlog it a little bit because it's really cool there. I keep on putting off um, showing the apartment because it's never clean enough, but I don't think it's ever gonna be clean enough. So I'm gonna do a quick apartment tour. Here is the entrance. We got this at 
the art where we got the art. I'm forgot, forgetting the name of it right now. We have a whining kitty in the background. Don't mind that. Those are the salt and pepper shakers we found at a souvenir shop. Here's our kitchen. <clears throat> You're not doing what I... Hey. Hey. No. 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 And here's the bathroom. This is the shower here. Um, and to use the shower, you just kind of close the curtain. Down there, we keep our litter box. Here's the bed. And uh, this place has kind of been taken over by cats. That won't always be there. <laughs> That's where most of our storage is kept. And then here's the office with the, one of our paintings that we got. <clears throat> and then this is the clothing storage and then where we keep a few of Boo's things. And then over there is where I keep my makeup and jewelry. So yeah, that's the whole apartment. We were able to negotiate the price down to $7.50 a month, which is really good. Especially in today's market because a lot of the prices are very inflated because um, there's so many Russians here. But yeah, update, we have a cat now. Yeah, and she's very naughty right now. Mostly because she's a kitten. We are training her in all the things. We have this, this is a scratching post here that she's learning to scratch on. But her favorite thing to do is to jump up here as fast as possible and hide in this little stand here. Um, and she does it as fast as possible because she knows that I'll take her down so I can't catch her. Yeah, you're naughty. Yeah, you're the naughty cat. She likes to meow a lot. I don't know what she wants. Don't worry, we feed her plenty. And she got a little extra today because she snuck up on the counter like the two seconds we weren't looking at it and ate some cheese. It was a very small amount. She's not gonna die. She just kind of owns the place now. Everything is dedicated to the cat. That's why we have boxes as decorations now. Right, Boo? Oh yeah, I should probably say her name is Boo. She's a street cat. Um, someone found her and then posted on this animal rescue group on Facebook. We reached out to them and met her and now she's here. Yeah. She likes to sleep with us. She sleeps most of the night. And right now she's kind of a lot of work because she's in trouble all the time. But that won't last forever. She's just being a kitten. Right, boo. You just being a kitten. So me and Dylan are making a uh, chicken pot pie. When I was in the US, I used to eat chicken pot pie at home all the time. My mom would make it. And I have the recipe and I really wanted to make it for New Year's. But the thing is, since it's New Year's, all the chicken is sold out. So we got like some mystery ground meat. It's beef or pork? It's either beef or pork. We don't know. I mean, the, the, it looks like there was a bunch of pork in the area. Like it was like a pork only area. So I'm suspecting it's pork but like do people even really sell ground pork like yeah they sell ground pork and ground beef there but there were three trays and would it really be three trays of ground pork I don't know that's it could also be. that's also where I bought the ground beef last time so well we don't know what it is but so that's what's going in our chicken pot pie 
And also another ingredient that's required for a chicken pot pie is like the pie crust and like I don't know how to make a pie crust. I'm not making a pie crust. Usually you buy a pre-made pie crust in the US and they don't sell that in Georgia or at least it's not common. And so we're just making like a chicken pot soup but without the chicken probably pork so a pork pot soup. So <laughs> In the end, I think it'll actually end up tasting pretty similar because like the contents are the same, but also they don't have canned cream of mushroom soup here. So we're making the cream of mushroom soup. <laughs> it's a whole experiment. We're gonna and we don't see have a how it goes. Cup. Oh yeah, we don't have a measuring cup anymore because we kept our last it one. Broken. It was broken and it was plastic and it was shit. We didn't want it anymore. So we left it at the last apartment. So, so we need to get a new measuring cup. But that means we're eyeballing a lot of the ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be a nice experiment. Um, hopefully it doesn't taste terrible. And of course, little Boo is in the kitchen with us. We're making some fun drinks for New Year's. Dylan's really into experimenting with drinks lately. But I just think it's super cute that no matter where we are, little Boo has to be with us. tastes kind of like how I remember, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty close. Good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, really good. It's really hot. Yeah, yeah. So, success. Oh, yeah. <laughs>